Hi, my name is Philippe Lanchat from London, Sweden. I'm originally from Quebec and Canada. And I would like to talk about Sweden during the pandemic. Well, as you may already know, Sweden is one of the rare countries in the world who didn't have confinement and where the schools have remained open throughout the pandemic. The set of recommendations that the public health agency in Sweden came up with, uh, they were on a voluntary basis. So needless to say that a lot of us were infected and us teachers in Sweden have paid a dear price in comparison to the neighbor countries. Of course, the Swedish society also paid the price of having much more people dying from COVID and more people being infected. Uh, myself, I got really sick uh, last April and I was briefly hospitalized. Um, we also had lots of students at home in quarantine or with family members who were exposed to the virus. So it forced us, even though the schools were open, to have blended learning. So we had to have live classes with our students, not wearing masks, because that was not one of the recommendations from the public health agency here in Sweden. And so we are also using Google Meet, the students at home who could watch lectures or the workshops live from home. And I also took the initiative to write an open letter to the Minister of Education in one of the most famous newspaper in Sweden, encouraging her to make sure that we teachers have the possibility to get vaccinated as early as possible. Of course, after those people who were at risk. So honestly, with my immigrant perspective here, I noticed how the Swedish teachers have been on the front line throughout the pandemic since the schools have never closed. And I would like to thank them for that because they really made a difference in their students' life. And also I need to think about all the other teachers around the world who experience a different approach to dealing with the pandemic because they've also suffered a lot from that. And their students also were forced to adapt to a new situation. But I think the key to everything is adaptation. And regardless of the types of regulations that different countries have taken, we've all managed to adapt and to learn from this. And hopefully this pandemic will really serve as a launch pad for a renewal in education. My name is Philip Lanchon, and I would like to say goodbye from Sweden in Swedish. Hey, though.